Hello viewers, this is Africa Renaissance TV and we are here in Brikama Campus, University of the Gambia. It is the Student Union Convention staged by the Electoral Commission of the University of the Gambia Student Union. I am your host, Bakari Mani, and the program is this school. Follow me as I bring you close to the politicians who shall be given the mandate to steer the affairs of the student union for the next 12 months. We are here in the Gambia College, University of the Gambia. It is the University of the Gambia Student Union Electoral Commission staging yet another convention for students to sell their policies and programs to the electorate for the 2022 election. And standing beside me here is one of the militants that is associated with Team Alliance. Gentlemen, introduce yourself to the viewers and tell us your name and the team that you support. Uh, well, uh, good afternoon and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. My name is Yanko Mamanga. Uh, I'm one of the campaign managers of Team Alliance in SBPBA. So what is the reason behind your, your, your support for Team Alliance? You know, as you know, Team Alliance is one of the biggest uh, political camp in the UTG. It's about nine years old. And so far, looking at the history, Team Alliance have done a lot of uh, credible things to the UTG SEU. And therefore, and this is what we believe, that we want to continue the culture of good governance, good leadership in, in the University Student Union. Yeah. So, meaning uh, Team Alliance has been the best, or the first um, student union political camp in the University of the Gambia, by virtue of there being the first, um, you know, political camp you know, give them the audacity to be leading year in, year out. But last year we have seen that, you know, uh, another team called Team Salvation, uh, Team Solution is Salvation Coalition has swept the polls in the last year's election. So what gives, what, what, what is the indication that this year it will be a thing of the past? Well, if looking at the candidates, we, the candidates we brought this time, looking at their competency rate, you cannot mind it with the coalition. You know, we have taken our time to select our, all the nine schools to select one of the best candidates in, in UTG. And therefore, I, I, based, on that, uh, based on that, we believe that uh, we have the, be the better side. Because looking at the coalition, last year, old year they have their uh, landslide victory. They came to power, but they have failed. They have failed woefully because none of their promise was fulfilled by, by the SU. And students have realized that now they give them a chance and we cannot make this mistake that we made last year. So this time the ball is turning. And this time Alia is coming back to continue the good work that they have been doing for student union. But well, looking at the university landscape, political landscape, we realize that the students of the university don't vote for credibility and competence. They vote, they vote based on the camp you belong. So what actually assurance do you have that this year it will, the elections will be on competence? Yes, and that is a very good question. Normally university is the highest line center and people should take example. We should vote people based on merit, not because of how popular they are. But I believe this, this time, uh, Alliance have done a lot of work by trying to sensitize people on voting right. And therefore, that alone we're going to make the people to decide. Because last year, I believe, we don't have done a lot of work in trying to convince people about the ability of the, our candidate. But this time, I think we have done justice. And we can even see from the student, they already begin to make decisions. Because they know now putting people that are popular in, politi uh, in, in, in office do not make any sense. Therefore, we need to put people in, in office that we think are better, people that we think can deliver. And so far, so good. Looking at the candidate from the present to the last candidate in Team Alliance, they are all competence. The competence here, you cannot match with the coalition. Yes. So what are some of the challenges that you face during your campaign? And if there is any, you know, advice that you will give to the militants ahead of tomorrow's election? Yeah, you know, as politics, in politics, we all have challenges. But so far, so good. I believe we are able to overcome all those challenges, especially in WhatsApp platform where we have a lot of uh, pseudo account people, people that uh, use a fake account and trying to jeopardize people's politics. But politics should be something that is that's very nice, be very big, something that should bring people together. So finally, finally, what is your prediction for the election? How many, how many seats are you predicting that your team, come rain, come sign, they are going to grab those ones? Well, um, right now I'm 100% convinced that we are taking all the polls, inshallah, by the grace of Allah, that's no doubt. All the candidates are, are going to win. Standing beside me here is one of the campaign propagandists, the chief campaign propaganda for the coalition team in the University of the Gambia Student Union elections. I will have an interface with him and ask him how prepared are you towards the elect tomorrow's election? I'm very much prepared. Um, we have placed everything necessary to make sure that tomorrow's election will be a landslide for us. What sort of things have you put in place? You have put everything in place. What sort of things have you put in we place? We have reached out to every possible electorate in the university across the length and breadth of the University of the Gambia. So 
as a result, we are hopeful that this election is going to be ours. Just like what we did last year, we are going to do the same. So we what what have you done last year, and what have you done this year that is different from what we have done last year? This year, because of the dynamic of the nature, the nature of the election, we have three presidential candidates, and one of the presidential candidates was a member of our team. So as a result, the way he was campaigning was somehow going against our membership. So therefore, we strike another strategy to make sure that we neutralize some of the campaign tool that he is going about telling people, so that we will make sure, so that we will be able to neutralize his camp. So so far, we have succeeded in doing that, and it has backfired. It has backfired. Exactly. So, um, what what do you think? If you believe you, you are the campaign strategist, so what sort of um, what sort of thing have you done that inform your decision that tomorrow's election is going to be a landslide for you? Yeah, we just we're just from the convention hall. If you see the reaction of the supporters, but sometimes the in voters, UTG reaction of students and, and also matter. and also in all the UTG the platform, the political campaign platform, the reaction any platform you go, we have most of the supporters there are our supporters and most of the people will react to messages are our supporters. But sometimes, and you know, UTG election is like, you know, we, we all know, we are all in the university of that is absolutely Sometimes true. it is definitely not, it's the opposite of what is expected. That is absolutely true, but the good news about our campus, we have that interpersonal relationship with most of the electorate. We try to reach out and touch life and make it different and influence decision based on helping and supporting the current need and aspiration of the student. So can you see with us some little policies of what your presidential candidate is campaigning on? Yeah, my president um, has made it very clear, my presidential candidate, Honorable Kemal Conte, he has made it very, very clear that our mission is to sustain the agenda. Which that, agenda that, are you that, sustaining? Which agenda do you have that you are to sustain? We came into office and found out a dilapidated, if you like, uh, a structure, executive structure. We came into office, we found a disfranchised union where student union and the sub association are like parallel lines. They will never meet. Mm. So we change that dynamics. We invite them, involve them, include them. We encourage diversity and inclusion. We create leadership training, both locally and abroad, and international leadership training for both union members and sub association leaders. So therefore, that has um, expand it has inclusiveness, it has healed dividend and also mm -hmm. create inclusiveness and mm -hmm. it has made most of the sub association to take ownership of the union and now they have felt that they are part and parcel of the union. So finally, finally, if the tomorrow's election turn out negative on your camp, at your, you know, what, are you, what step are you going to take? Are you going to honor the results that will be announced by the chairperson of the independent, of um, the electoral commission We, we have what? always honored the results. Um, the former chairperson of the electoral commission I always tell him that he did a very good job, I think which is the passion of yourself. I always praise him for the brave, brevity and the boldness of him to come up with a robust strategy. Because previously the, the, our electoral process was marked and by a lot of uh, rigorous electoral ma malpractice and so on. So the coming of the previous electoral cha chairman has smoothed in the process. So therefore this, the, the current chairman gave has a smooth run because already the process is already smooth for him. So we believe in the process. We believe that there will be transparency. Yes. There will be transparency. Those were the words of one of the political propagandists for the coalition team of the University of the Gambia Student Union Electoral Commission. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Mr. Bakari Mane. Good. I appreciate it. Hello viewers, I have two gentle, a gentleman and a lady here standing beside me. You know, one of them supporting Team Alliance and the Sony Salvation. Salvation Coalition. So I'll ask both of them the reason why they are supporting their team. First, I will start with the gentleman. Introduce yourself and tell us yes. why you are supporting Team Alliance. Yes, uh, Mr. Mani and uh, to the viewers too, I am Momori M. Cham, <laughs> School of Education, third year student um, from Team Alliance, UTG Inter School for Alliance. Mm -hmm. um, coming back to your question, why I'm supporting Alliance is uh, based on the policy analysis that I, I, I went through, then based on the policies that I was convinced 
with the policies of Alliance. That's why I supported them. Okay, before we get to the lady, what are some of those policies that, are that you are convinced with? You know. um, if you look at some of the policies, like for example, the policies of that of the president, okay, uh, they wanted to introduce what we call tracking system of the bus services, and most of us, of School of Education, are a victim when it comes to that, mm -hmm. because uh, normally uh, most of us are on part-time teaching, mm -hmm. and we start relying on the colleagues by calling them mm -hmm. in order to know when the buses will leave. Mm -hmm. So instead, when they made mention of uh, a bus tracking services. Then I was amazed by that policy. I said, yes, let me give them a chance and uh, try to benefit, benefit from, from that policy if it was uh, it becomes a reality. So That's what if it doesn't become a reality uh, now? Because it it's a policy, it can be it, a reality. And it yes, can, the, um, there know. are policies that are attainable that mm -hmm. are not attainable. Mm -hmm. But this uh, is a policy that I have seen it work in the Gambia. Because if you look at the ferry services, those mm -hmm. who also cross to the... Uh, to and from the Nyomis, mm -hmm. we used to track the ferry services now and know the ferry location, mm -hmm. and that will give us uh, a very good reason of preparing ourselves and go. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I see no reason that cannot be attainable. Suppose it's not attainable, I become very shocked and surprised and withdraw my cap from Team Alliance. That time so long, it would have, it would have been, late, been late, but so long I'm a student, I'm not yet done, I would have joined any other camp that I have seen them successfully attaining their policies, I will join them and make sure I will be used as an example to voters in order not to fall for any other trap. Thank Suppose you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. You, can, you may stand and then let me ask the sister again the same question. Why Solution is Salvation Coalition? Why are you supporting that? Uh, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. Well, I'm a solutionist and I am supporting the coalition because of the immense things that they have been doing in the university. From the formation of this coalition, we see that there have been changes in the university. First of all, this coalition was meant to bring union. It was backed by unionism, which made two groups come together in order to make the university great, in order to make the university become the university that we expect. Because there are so many um, things that we are crying as students, so many difficulties, challenges that we are facing as students that we are not um, taking up to the management or things that we expect as our students leaders to have done, they did not but since when they started. just started administering the university, affairs of the students Obviously. just last year. Yes, they even if you look at the portal, you are a student, he is a student. And we all know how registration has been a problem before and how grades were a problem for it to be uploaded. Mm -hmm. But we see this last semester, our grades were seen at a particular time that we all expected for it to be seen. At times students would want to graduate, but because their grades are pending, this but was do you all want to done. attribute those, that success of to, course, to, to, the, to the student? Yes, to, to yes, because they were at the back of the management, running after the management every day running after them for the grades to be uploaded but and this is a great success but an ordinary student you know you ask would tell you that definitely this government did not do anything the government of the uh, the, the the current leadership of of the of, of the student union you know, didn't do anything that is worth celebrating for of they course. talked about the research pro, pro, the course. research project that is ongoing it's a waste of resources what do you have to say about that camp, the camp has gone through so many trainings with some government officials and they have also gone through some um, MOUs with some government officials to help students with their research projects, to help students. So how optimistic are you that you know they will still maintain the, the popularity that you know the previous um, uh, uh, leadership has? I am very optimistic. Are you optimistic? Because, uh, yes. That because they are going to the, win all the positions? Of course, because, because of their determination mm -hmm. and whatever but remember determination doesn't work for university students university oh. students want to see you know the the elections in the university is not based on competence or based on it is based on the camps you belong sometimes you may even belong to a camp and you know very well that the 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 the, 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 the candidate that you presented is not up to the level of the opposition but you just vote for the person because the person is in your camp okay can i ask you a question before that no i don't answer questions okay I ask can i questions. ask him a question Yes. Yes. You yes, may. Yes, yes. Okay. What What year is he now? Third year. Third year. Yes. Since you entered the university, have you gone through matriculation, whatever we whatever we call um, that? 
that one, that one, that one, that one is an initiative of the university management, not no, the student it union. Has, it has it not been happening. Money, I think uh, uh, I have to answer that question, no, but I have so long this political tolerance, mm -hmm. okay? I've gone through that matriculation mm -hmm. under the leadership of the Laga Millet mm -hmm. coalition. Mm -hmm. That I will say kudos to them. Mm -hmm. But when we also look at um, the achievements, mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that are also attainable to uh, achievable by alliance. Mm -hmm. Okay, you look at the uh, scholarship package mm -hmm. of 1.4 million dollars. I was that going to ask that, that question. That was this boost to the student. Okay, and again the 19 executive council were also uh, made to. Um, pro, uh, at least provide two buses for the student in order to uh, ease the movement of uh, transportation of students to and from various, ca various campuses. Mm -hmm. Then therefore I give that credit to Lagami, mm -hmm. but again I will not also forget the credits that are also attainable and also achievable mm -hmm. by Team uh, Alliance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on, Especially under the leadership of Usman Jassi. Thank you for saying that he gave the credit to Lagami. And Lagami is But that was coalition. Lagami. We are talking about, Lagami is a pastime. Now we are talking about the, these candidates that we are seeing presenting their policies and programs to the students. Uh, how, how, how credible are they? How competent are they to making sure that the Lagami-led government is, you know, um, the, 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 the activities of the Lagami-led government is also, you know, followed? based on their policies from the president to the vice president to the SG if you look at their policies you will see the difference and when you when you see the difference you will know that these are the what people difference that change. You, what difference is is the presidential uh, your your presidential come candidates on, policy just, different just, from the opposition just, just look at his policies yes one, so the policy one, 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 thing, the policy. one thing that mm -hmm. we also do not have mm -hmm. here in the university is the sub the president of sub associations coming together under one umbrella and this is what this upcoming president is emphasizing on. I believe if they come under one umbrella and understand each other and work together, mm -hmm. I believe this university will be a great university. Thank you very much viewers. That does it for this interview. It was a team alliance member and a coalition member. And then actually this, this is a definition of political tolerance. Yeah. And I hope university students will emulate the gentleman and the lady in making sure that they tolerate each other, especially in terms of UTG politics. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hereby introduce you the Minister of Welfare and Culture Minister candidate, Ms. Kadiba. It is with profound honor that Ms. Kadiba declares her intention to run for the position of Welfare and Culture Minister in the upcoming STU election under the Team Alliance. Kadiba is a final year public administration student, a businesswoman and a staunch women's rights advocate. Through her businesses, she supports through her businesses, she supports single parents in starting up small scale businesses with primary focus on teenage mother and helping them to integrate back to second chances, education and advocates for girls' education. Ms. Kadiba, is, Ms. Kadiba graduated from Nusra Senior Secondary School, holds a certificate in procurement and supplied from the standard Thank charter you. institutions. Thank Thank so you. thereby, ladies and gentlemen, I Thank introduce you, you Ms. Kadiba. Yes, Thank Ms. Kadiba. you. Ms. Kadiba, welcome. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Good afternoon, members of the Electoral Commission, fellow candidates, students of the University of the Gambia. As rightly introduced, my name is Kadiba, a final year student majoring in public administration from the School of Business and Public Administration. When I first saw up at the University of the Gambia, I began to realize some of the welfare issues on campus. As someone that advocates for students' welfare, I became very passionate about addressing these issues. That is why I stand here before you today as a social welfare and cultural candidate for the forthcoming SU elections. And here are some of the policies I put forward. Students' welfare on campus, UTG Cultural Festival, the Students' Retreat, the Students' Week. Thank you. Can we thank you and the Barber Speaker for standing by? Stop, you have a minute.
Hello, good afternoon everybody. Well, from seeing the reactions that is coming from the crowd, can sensibly tell me Sanyam Bar is a Sanyam Bar for all the gambling in the Without going through respecting the disciplines of democracy in the University of the Gambia, we would have just taken Sanyam Bar to become the Minister of Culture and Welfare. He is the as I'm speaking right now, he is the vice, he is the deputy culture and cultural minister, culture and welfare minister on the Ministry of Culture and Welfare. He understands every corner of the ministry. Sanyam Ba, as I speak now, he served the position of Secretary General of Peace and Conflicts under the Afri under the Pan Africanism. He served Sanyam Ba served as the peace ambassador, he served as the coordinator and the facilitator Thank of you. peace ambassador. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Hello. Please. Before I will ask the mic to him, I would like to remind every student that if you have any question, you can kindly knock them down before they conclude their debate. Thank you. This is just a formality, but it's a done deal. <laughs> Members of the high table, my fellow contestants, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. I am Ibrahim Asayam, vying for the position of Welfare and Culture Minister. You will agree with me, Welfare and Culture is the most important ministry among all. No ministry will stand before you and speak to you about his or her policy without mentioning students' welfare. For that being the case, we need someone that has the technical know-how, we need someone that has the knowledge background, we need someone that has the experience, we need someone that has dedicated his service to students' welfare. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are some of the experience that I possess. Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you one thing. I live by your problem, I know your problem, I'm here to solve the problem. That will lead you to our policy. My policy number one is UTG and them. Policy number two, cultural week. Policy number three, students' welfare. Policy number four, students' week. Policy number five, face of UTG. Policy number six, UTG got talent. Policy number seven, UTG arts group. Policy number eight, Gala Dina for graduates. Here are four attainable policies that I will implement when voted as your finance minister. Policy number one, fundraising to alumni. Alumni are an integral part of the successes of many universities around the world. As per the constitution of the University of the Gambia Students' Union, the finance minister shall be responsible for strategizing means of generating revenue for the union. This I intend doing so when elected as your finance star. I will engage the I will reach out to our school alumni and engage them to take part in the development and the advancement of their alma mater by giving donations and other support. Research has shown that alumni are at the top of the list of potential donors to their universities around the world. These donations would keep the union financially healthy and equipped in order to expand our programming, such as engaging in research trees, symposia, debates, in order to compete with closely ranked institutions. Policy number two, strengthening the automated clearance system. Ladies and gentlemen, the world has turned into a digital world and this has improved efficiency and productivity in many Good afternoon to the subscribers of Team Coalition and to those that are on the verge of subscribing to Team Coalition. I have the singular honor to introduce to you a man who has the experience, the exposure, the competency, the intellectual pedigree, the technical know-how to serve as your next finance minister of the 21st Executive Council of the Students' Union. Mr. Sabal is a 400-level accountancy major, currently serving as an intern in the University of the Gambia Finance Office. And he also served as the finance minister of Ecomansa.
So when you are going to recall tomorrow, only to vocally, unapologetically, unashamedly, vote for Miami Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you, Biran, for that wonderful deliberation. I will, I will not waste time because I have a lot of policies that I want to implement for you. So I will go straight to the policies I have for you. And policy number one is the online safe and proper keeping of records. Number two, to improve the financial strength of UTGSU. Number three, to build a student center, a UTG student center for University of Gambia. Number four, capacity building trainings. Number five, trade fair. Number six, improvement of internal policies. That is the internal financial policies. And number six, the last but not least, is the timely report or the timely release of the finance report during Congress. Fellow students, members of the Electoral Commission, fellow candidates, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you sincerely for your time and we thank you for the opportunity for coming to listen to the various candidates. This is undoubtedly going to be the most hotly contested election as far as the Secretary General is concerned. Therefore, I ask you to sincerely give me the time while I take you through my policy. Fellow students, Albert Einstein, one of the most renowned philosophers in history said, he said, and I quote, leadership is nothing if it is not backed by experience, if it is not backed by the popularity of the people, if it is not backed by selfless service of the people. Therefore, I stand before you under a liberated jurisdiction to declare my intention and also to present my policies before you. Fellow students, because there is no backup speaker, I would want to summarize my, uh, I would like to summarize my biography to you. Mr. Mohadu Saidu Jalo was born in the Upper River region in Basse precisely. Not to talk about the positions that I held in senior secondary school, at the Gambia College, in this very hall, I was decorated as the Education and Research Minister in 2015. <laughs> Fellow students, in this very hall, I was also decorated as the President 2013 Gambia College PIM Club. In this very hall, I was decorated as the first Secretary General of the Gambia College alumni. Fellow students, having completed my HPC, I was posted to all Yundu, where I served and trained over 200 PIM educators before I won a scholarship to move to Dakar and pursue my diploma degree in French and I returned in 2018 to assume the position of Secretary General of the French Student Association. Fellow students, subsequently, I was massively voted as the President of the Education Student Association. Standing before you, standing before you as your, as your candidate for Secretary General, it is somebody that is linguistically armed with three international languages. Standing before you here, it is somebody that has professional experience with both ATV and, and diploma in French. Standing before you, it is somebody with over seven years experience in student leadership. Fellow students, it is important for me at this time to recognize the presence of the Arabic students because it's a section that I also seek to represent. And I read one Akuna Secretary General of the Arabic Jamia. And I say one Akuna Lakum Secretary General of the Arabic Jamia.